Hi guys, welcome back. We are continuing our record to report series. I already completed the overview session related to record to report. If you have not checked that one, I will add that in the i button. You can check that one. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about the document splitting and segment reporting from the business point of view. Uh, but not in a boring or textbook way, rather we are going to take the both theoretical theoretical concept as well as we will try that one the practical or in system we will take one business example and there we will see how it is going to help the business. Now let's understand why document splitting exists. What exactly document splitting? Document splitting means it is one of the advanced reporting features in our S4 HANA. Whenever any document need to be report as per the different requirement, suppose I want to split profit center wise, segment wise, business area wise, for different different characteristics wise when I want to split and I want to report in a better way. So in that case, document splitting concept is applicable or document splitting features is applicable. Basically, when any company operate in multiple segments, for example, they have a retail segment is there, services is there, manufacturing is there. So in when they are operating in different segments, so in that case, it is highly required. They want their P&L balance it should be report in the segment wise. but it's not like users are going to post various transactions as per the multiple segments. Let's say we have two segments, retail and service and all the expenditures, whatever we are going to record. It's not like retail wise, we are going to post the transaction or user is going to post the transaction retail wise as well as services wise. So product wise, let's say we want to do the splitting. So user is not going to do anything. User is just going to put the data or user is going to add the data in the system as it is. But because of this document splitting features or because of this particular functionalities, we want the splitting, we want the documents in the better way or the reporting in the better way. In the standard system, when we are going to post any vendor invoice with multiple cost centers, then in that case, system is going to post a transaction in one or all the balances it is going to post at company code level. So transaction will be posted from the FI. So let's say we uh, use the transaction code here AB50. There we have selected the vendor and we have entered here multiple profit centers, multiple cost centers. So it is cost, obviously, it will be recorded with the cost center. The output only will be there at if you are going to use here the classic GL, then you will find that the balance is recorded with the company code level, not as per the profit center wise, the segment wise. This is the old concept. But when you are going to enable the document splitting or we are going to use this splitting, Without document splitting, your segment or PNL informations is not going to split the information. So if you are going to use two cost centers or you are going to use multiple cost centers, multiple profit center, multiple segments. So as a result, you, you will you will happy with only one balance that is your company code balance. But if you are going to use document splitting, then every transaction, whatever we are going to post, it can be anything. It may be expense, it may be revenue posting, vendor invoice, customer invoice, it can be anything. Asset transactions, every transaction, whatever we are going to post in the system. Now, user is not going to do anything. User will post the transaction as it is, or user will record the transaction as it is. But because of the document splitting, automatically we'll find the segment wise, the document is going to be balanced. I'm not talking accounting point of view. Obviously, debit credit will match, but segment wise, profit center wise, it is going to match. So this is known as your document splitting and benefit is we are going to have a Clean, clean and real time information. So multiple profit center wise, the informations will be there without any manual activity by user. So now let's understand how it is going to work actually. So technically SAP uses here the splitting characteristics like as I said, it may be segment, it may be profit center or business area. So I want the splitting whenever the transaction will be post. Let's say profit center wise, I want to split or the segment wise, I want to split. So basically it is one of the advanced reporting feature which is going to help the management to take the decisions because ultimately record to report means reporting point of view, it is going to help. So during the posting system is going to look at the required characteristics, whatever we have used here, and it is going to create some more line items. So we know that we have two views, entry view as well as GL view. So in entry view, user is going to enter the document, but you are going to see the output in the GL view. Practically, I will show you, I will post one document and we will see. So not only our debit and credit is going to balance, our segment wise or profit center wise also informations is going to balance. 
So in this way, our profit and loss or balance sheet, financial statements is going to reach, uh, it is going to reach the required whatever we are looking here. Okay, and it is very helpful for your internal management point of view as well as from the statute requirement point of view. So now we can adopt here different accounting principles, IFRS, local gap without any extra effort. Now let's take one practical example. Let's say we are going to have one vendor invoice. So here I'm going to credit one vendor. So I'm going to post a credit entry here. Vendor is going to credit, let's say 10,000 INR. And uh, here we are going to have uh, debit entries like IT expenses we are going to post. Let's take internet. So we are going to post internet expense. You can take here any example. Uh, internet expense is going to debit, let's say 6,000 and uh, you can take another cost center or uh, another expense also. I'm taking here the same internet expense. Now this internet expense is going to debit. Now accounting point of view, let's say 4,000. So accounting point of view, now you can see 10,000 debit and uh, 10,000 credits done but with this we can able to post the document only but we want to see that multiple cost center wise informations as well as profit center informations and i'm going to use here let's say various type of segments so basically this particular item let's say this is my line item one so line item one is going to update with one cost center let's say admin cost center so this will be my admin cost center and accordingly one profit center will be there so let's say this is one service profit center and accordingly one uh, let's say our segment will be there let's for the uh, easy understanding point of view let's say this is segment one similarly this internet expense this is my line item two so this one is let's say another cost center retail cost center this will be a different profit center so this is my cost center field cost center this will be profit center and this will be our segment so retail cost center let's say this one is linked with a profit center retail and accordingly this will be my segment two now in this case you will see that profit center one let's say this is profit center uh, one having the debit entries whereas profit center two we don't have the credit because credit we are going to post without any specific cost uh, profit center or segment so user is not going to specify any profit center whenever it is a cost line obviously cost center will be there but profit center and segment should be there in every line item similarly in this line item user is going to enter the particular cost center but profit center and segment informations will not be there now in this case accounting point of view maybe you can say the document is balanced because we have equal debit and credit but information wise like your profit center wise segment wise the information is incomplete right so here profit center debit is there credit missing here profit center debit is there credit is missing similarly segment also half information is there now if you are going to take these informations and you are going to prepare your report then in that case balance it is not going to match income statement is not going to match so this is in these situations where we are not going to post two manual entries like debit is going to be my expense and vendor is going to credit so i'm just going to post a normal entry a b60 entry and as per my required input automatically system is going to split the entry so that after this output uh, after these transactions when i will check the report or i will see the output i can see all the informations will be there i'm going to show, show you this one live so that you can see once i will post the document you will see the output that whatever i'm looking here exactly it is going to be there so that means this 10000 also need to be split plus wherever the entries are required or whatever the balancing information is required it is going to be posted automatically so this is the beauty of your document splitting functionalities so i'm going to post one document and here i will take the expense as my internet cost means this particular gl account 3001 and i'm going to post a customer uh, sorry supplier entry so i will go to ab60 or i will go to uh, financial accounting accounts payable so this will be a non-po vendor invoice so document entry and i'm going to select here so i will select here uh, the supplier so i'm going to select this particular supplier and let's take the date whatever it is there and uh, the invoice amount will be 10,000. let's ignore the tax amount gl will be my expense so gl i'm going to select here this particular gl account internet cost 3001 so that will be my debit entry 3001 and debit will be 6000 and uh, this one i'm going to select here the cost center as admin cost center being user i'm not going to enter any profit center or segment automatically system is going to pick that information so i will select here the admin cost center then i will take the same gl account 
for my second line entry and I will take here the balance amount 4000 and this time I will take a different cost center. So I will take the cost center, let's say uh, retail. Let's take this one. Okay, so now in this case, accounting point of view document is balanced. So 10,000 is going to credit that is supplier and debit will be my expense. So continue and the document will be, uh, now it is balanced. The so document has to be zero balancing figure we got here and post the document. User activities are completed. Now we will analyze the document. So for that, you can go to a B03 or simply just go to the document and check here display. So right now I'm in the entry view. So in the entry view, uh, whatever the information I have ent uh, added here. So the, from where we are getting these informations from the BSEC table. So from BSEC table, I can see here that uh, my supplier is credit 10,000. All the informations are missing. So I can't see here profit center. I can't see here the segment. Internet cost is debited with one cost center. So this one is debited with cost center 6002 and profit center is 8002 and manufacturing is my segment. Then another one is uh, internet expense. So that is another cost center here and 6003 and a different profit center and different segment. Now in this case, the document is not balanced. So if we go with this one and in old days, this is how the transactions was posted, means user point of view, although there is no difference, but output also you are not going to get any difference. This is only company code level, you are going to get your expense or vendor balance. But now if I will go to the general ledger view, so you can see that all line items are updated automatically. I have not done anything here. So the moment I posted the transaction, so you can see the document is split so I can see two accounts payable line items are there and the multiple or profit center wise you have debit and credit information is there. Let me sort the data. So I can uh, sort the data here as per the profit center wise or I can sort the data as per the segment wise. Now see here uh, accounts payable credit and internet cost was debit. In the entry view, this information was not there. Profit center and its corresponding segment. Accounts payable, other one, accounts payable credit, internet cost debit and its corresponding profit center and retail. So two different profit centers with two different retail without doing anything by user and I can see the output is available. So actually what happened here behind the scene SAP automatically create here two balanced line items one for the retail segment and another one is for the manufacturing in my example. So for the admin department which is linked with a manufacturing segment. So automatically system posted some extra entries whereas user point of view no extra general entries required. I have not posted two documents as per different profit center or different segment wise. I just posted with common invoice and I can see the output is available. So accounting document is splitted here as per my different requirement point of view. So till now you got the concept and practically also we posted the document. So various type of common issues you will find when you will work on these areas. You will find that uh, with the uh, proper postings, I'm not getting the particular output or the document splitting is not working actually. So some issues may be related to the configuration. So backend configuration is required of course. And uh, some issues user point of view also may be like super user or power user level issues also will be there. So because document splitting is completely rely on or heavily rather I would say that rely on the master data segment because here in the back end I already linked the cost center with the profit center so if you'll check the cost center video so there I have linked the profit centers with my cost center so profit center is also linked with my segment so that's why if this hierarchy is not maintained if this connection is missing then obviously when we will post the transaction it will not work or the required GL account is not going to update so master data in updation is highly required so somewhere you will find zero balance also going to be updated in this example zero balance is not applicable in another scenario i will show you so when system is not going to be able to balance the document system is going to add couple of line items to make the document balanced during the posting means the user is not going to do anything output you are going to see that zero balance will be applicable so there are three type of splittings available active splitting passive splitting and zero balance splitting this is the active splitting only sometimes you will find active splitting with zero balance sometimes you will find passive splitting also with zero balance and uh, what will be the business impact here? So I already explained that what is the need of this document splitting because document splitting means it is a faster month and close activities, reporting features, and it is a clean R2R report or R2R reporting without any messy activities in your Excel or reclassification. Business users are going to just post the transactions as it is without doing anything. In fact, business users, they don't know what is this one, but when they will see the output, you can see automatically the information 
informations will be there as per my required characteristics. So document splitting is a common tool which will be applicable in multiple areas in different different transactions. So in future, whatever the document I will post, whether it is R2R, P2P, O2C, everywhere you will find that the splitting functionalities will be applicable, right? So one, whenever it will come, I will keep highlighting, but the document splitting will be there in all type of documents. So we will stop it here. In another video, we will see the next topic related to your record report. Bye.